how is Singapore or how well is Singapore positioned to capture this AI boom? Good morning, Sri. Nice to be here. Yeah, the AI boom has been uh, coming over the past year. You can see that uh, in Singapore is very well positioned. You know, we are one of the largest exporters of chips globally. We produce about 7% of chips. Uh, and these are advanced chipset that goes into electric vehicles, that goes into, you know, the RF, your mobile phones. Uh, and in a way, we are well positioned. Now, with AI boom, we are seeing a possible uh, imp uh, increase in demand for chips in the data center. Now, that said, um, you know, this whole AI uh, growth, we are forecasting about 10% growth over the next decade compared to the overall semiconductor growth. So it's still relatively at the early stage, uh, and we hope to see uh, you know, better growth in the coming years. That's interesting. So we're really in the first innings of this uh, evolution yes. and capturing the AI uh, revolution. Uh, we were talking earlier, we were saying last week marked 55 years of uh, the semiconductor industry in Singapore. So it's a remarkable uh, milestone. What does 2024 hold in terms of uh, capital commitments towards Singapore's growing semiconductor supply chain? You're right. So 55 years, very proud history for the Singapore semiconductor industry started in 1968. Uh, since then, we have progressed and grown tremendously with a strong ecosystem that supports multinational companies across the globe. 2024 is projected to be a good year, at least from the second half, where we are expecting recovery of the industry. Uh, and by then, our companies are well positioned. You mentioned earlier, Global Foundry has invested in Singapore. In fact, most of the multinational company over the past three years has expanded their operations here. And we're very well positioned to basically uh, meet the demands that will be coming soon. What's interesting is that when you look across Southeast Asia, Vietnam, yes. Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, mm -hmm. they're all part of uh, the China Plus One supply chain strategic redistribution. Where does Singapore fit in to that? Is there enough of a, a market for Singapore to compete or are we competing uh, for a business in the higher uh, echelons of that particular market? Yeah, that's a very good question. So Singapore is positioned well, not at the highest leading bleeding edge technology, uh, but we are in the advanced technology not sufficiently needed by the, you know, the, the demands from electric vehicles and everything else like I mentioned earlier. Now Singapore is well positioned because like I mentioned again, with the strong ecosystem that have developed over the, the, uh, the decades. But more importantly, I believe um, you know, the overall semiconductor industry is set to grow. With this growth over the next decade to a trillion dollars business, everybody has to be part of it, not just one country or one nation. Everybody will be part of it to meet the demand you know, that the entire globe, uh, world is going to. We are going to a very huge digital society, and I think the demand will be huge in the coming years. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.